decided to try and do something a little different. And, well, I thought, hmm, well, what could it show everyone that they'd want to learn? And so, I decided to cover one of my favorite pieces, The World Without Logos by Yasushi Ishii, otherwise known as the theme song to Helsing. Okay, so the first thing you might want to know is probably the introduction. And that's a very quick section of the piece. And again, your bass hand, it will be stretched out through octaves throughout the entire piece. There are several forms that people do this on, but the most common one seems to be the uh, Just the B octave. The B octave again, this time with F sharp. Quickly press on A before moving your hands to D octave and playing it twice. Okay. The next section, well, first section, I should be saying, starts on the E octave. Now, some people like adding in B for this part, but it doesn't work for me. To me, this is the correct sound to go throughout the entire piano part. And since I mentioned that this is the first section, your bass hand will forever be on these two keys throughout the entirety of the section and you will be playing this octave every other note. So Okay, now on to your soprano hand, the treble clef. And this is where that every other note thing is going to come in. The first two notes you play on this hand, it comes right after the E octave is B and G. And you will be coming back to these two notes periodically. Now, for the first part of the first section, after you play this, you'll move up to E and B. E, A sharp. E, A. and then E, G. For the second part, you'll be returning to D, G. You'll then move up to C sharp, keep your other finger on G, Again, same finger on G, this time move to B. Return to C sharp. Again, finger on G. And then you'll play D and G twice. Okay, now to give you an idea on what this looks like. Now remember, I said the E octave with your bass hand is played every other note. And let me to show you what I mean by that real quickly. goes. Uh, 